Hi everybody, today Gabriel and I are going to unbox and review this Aroma Therapy Essential Oil Diffuser from BZ Seed. You excited about it? Yes! Yes! Here we go! Okay, so this diffuser was sent to us and we were asked to do a review on this product. So I got it in just the other day. Yeah? So we got instruction manual. It looks like the power source wrapped up. You wanna hold that for me? You want the instructions, huh? <laughs> And the, those are the instructions and the actual diffuser, which fortunately for me is already assembled. Doesn't look like there's much to it. <laughs> Gabriel's going to help me out today. What do you think? <laughs> All right, we're going to put this together and uh, let you know what we think about this. So essentially, this thing comes in five parts. Power cord, which came rolled up, snugly fit inside the uh, little water pitcher. This cone, this cone, and the base. 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 Very good. You going to show them where the plug goes in? It's on the bottom. See right there? Plug fits in there snugly, lays flat, and then it clips into this thing so that the base doesn't sit unevenly on any kind of surface or anything like that. It does go right there. Actually, this goes on first, then that does. Great job! Thank you! Now this is TV. <laughs> As you can see, Gabriel has taken it upon himself to make some edits to the it's directions. By here. That's a Right Inside the diffuser itself, there's a little line that indicates, you know, max fill. So, <clears throat> using the little cup they provided you, add water into it, but don't go above that max fill line. All right, once you got your water in there, add your essential oil. Okay, water's been added, the oil's been added. Take this cone back on top, this one, on top of that, and then you'll see right here, we've got some buttons. One hour, three hour, six hour, and on. You hit on, and the light, the green light is at the one hour mark. I'm gonna show a close up of this so you see a little bit better. Then if you hit on again, it moves to three hour, on again, it moves to six hour, and then on again, it just stays on. There's a second button right here, which is pretty cool for light. This setting, I believe on this one, it changes colors. You can kind of, you can see what that's doing. But right now we've just got this rim. Push the light button again and it changes to different colors. Hey Gabriel, what color is that? Yeah. That red, you're right. What about that one? This is pink. Is it orange? It is orange. What about that one? Yeah. It's green, you're right. Yeah. So I've been running it for about 10 minutes um, just to kind of see what we do, how it runs and everything. So far, it runs great. Uh, it's really, I, I would say, diffusing the oils well. I can smell them in the living room. The thing is running in the kitchen. Uh, so as a diffuser, so far, it works great out of the box. Um, I turned the lights off just to get a better idea of just how visible the little light is. Um, and so far it's pretty cool. I like the diffuser. 
Um, it's bigger, so you really kind of need a place for it. I mean, literally, like, it's probably about the size of height of my head. So you really kind of need a place for it. Uh, functionality is pretty simple. You scroll through a lot of different light settings just by pushing the light button. Scroll through a, little, a lot of different time settings by pushing the, uh, the power button. Uh, and, and to turn it off, it's real simple that once you've actually run through all the three different timer settings, you just hit that. Gabriel really wants to be in the video. And it turns it off, shuts off immediately. Update, it's been running for one hour. Gabriel's having lunch. Watching TV. The diffuser has been going strong for an hour. I haven't noticed any kind of change in, uh, you know, strength or anything like that. I can still smell the oil throughout the, the downstairs. Gabriel's still happy about it. We'll check in when we hit the three hour mark. So the three hour timer is up. It just uh, beeped and stopped diffusing. Um, Gabriel's down for his nap, so I was able to actually get the directions and read a little bit more about this particular diffuser. Uh, you can yeah, cycle through the colors. So we have, right now it's you know changing, but then if I were to tap the light button again, it would change to a different color. And then if I tap it again, it would change to the same color, but a dimmer version. So you can leave the this outer cone off and utilize this as a nightlight um, lamp sort of thing. Um, then you could also tap, you could tap and hold down the, um, the timer button, which will adjust the mist from a heavy mist to a lighter mist. So I thought those two were some pretty neat features. Um, it's pretty, it's a lot, lot more going on, um, than I initially thought. Obviously had to get the directions back from my toddler in order to find that out. But I, so far, I like this thing. The three-hour timer went, it beeped, stopped, and it stopped diffusing. Uh, the light continues to go. It also uh, will auto shut off if you run out of water. So I thought that was a neat thing too. It's not just gonna kinda spin its wheels and run in the background if there's nothing in it to actually diffuse. So Gabriel should be awake anytime now, and we can get him up close this thing out, see what he thinks. I'll give him the instructions back so he can color them some more. <laughs> so what do you think of this? I just want to burn a big blue wick. You like the color changing? Yes, that doesn't supposed to go. You, make, you mean you make it go again? Uh -huh. yes, sir. That's all he's been asking for this whole time. You can hear him in the background of the video. <laughs> that just made me think of he wants the He wants the colors to start going again. We'll turn it on in just a second. Yes. That don't be color. So BZ Seed, I'm gonna put a link to this product. That one. In that the one. description. Right here. I have kitchen right here. Paper. That's Very a, easy to follow directions I have included. Right here. That's a pyramid. See that? Yeah, I see that. That's Your directions paper. will probably not have Gabriel edits in them. <laughs> that's just a mimic. But that'll still be easy to read. That's so, so we like this product. Uh, we have we have a oh, similar. We have a similar, similar okay. <laughs> oil diffuser in the house that we've been using downstairs. We're looking forward to adding. We're looking forward to adding this one because uh, Sarah is a big fan of running thieves during the winter time. When, when bugs are floating, you know, bugs, flus, viruses, things like that are going around. And uh, we like to run lavender and lemon in the house. Lemon during the day, lavender in the evening kind of, you know, calms things. Energizes you during the day, calms you in the evening. Do the joint. And the color feature is pretty cool. So, I'll put a link to the Amazon link in the description. And we say, uh, yeah, we like it. Po positive review from the Upshaws. All right, buddy, can you say thank you for watching? Thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.